All right, so here's today's topic. We are progressing through this series talking about raising money and talking about how to work with investors. So we started talking about the prep work. What are the tools we need to get together? And we're gonna be building on that today, specifically talking through these tools, right? Prior to this, we also then talked about how do we get the meeting? How do we use social media? How do we t tell our story and our journey with the intention that we're gonna have you know, a, an elevator pitch. We're gonna work it into all of our conversations to hook people with some specific keywords that are very intriguing, like mansion and things like that, so that we can get to a meeting. And that's where I wanna talk to you today about is how do we structure this meeting? Now I've done it on Zoom and that'll be perfect because you will actually see me give a presentation today on Zoom or I've done it in person at uh, like a coffee shop. And so we'll talk through this kind of example and, and really show you here's how you can do it either way, right? In person on Zoom, doesn't matter. You could do it on the phone if you really needed to and just email them a PDF of the, of the tools, right? But um, I have my tools here, right? So I have my business plan. Uh, excuse me. I have my financials. So we're going to be talking about this and we've talked about this before. So I'll just hit it real quick, but I like these to look professional, right? I got the hard cover here. I got the, the um, spiral bound at the, it's, it's like thick, glossy paper. I want to say it's like 80 pounds or something. Um, you know, I probably spent like 50 bucks on it on, on the business plan. And then if you can see, I put these little tabs here, right? So we're going to be talking about this structure today. And really I'm just marking the key points. I was, I'm not going to go through the whole 26 pages and read it, right? I want to hit um, a few different things. Um, we'll, we'll show you the structure. I want to hit that and I'll actually go through it and just give you the presentation today so you can see it. But ultimately I'm using the tools as a roadmap, as a blueprint for this. And then um, when I don't know what to say next, I just look at the next tab, flip the page and be like, oh yeah, okay, well, here's where I'm going to go next. All right. So let's, let's get into it. This is the four parts of this. And I would say this, that, um, my first round when I did this, I did not have the, the first part, right? The architectural plans and design. And now when I talk about it and I give a presentation, I, I start there because it, it's really intriguing to people. So I'll share that part with you and then we'll get into the, the business plan, the financials and how to make an offer. So yeah, this is that, that list, right? Here's the four things that are in this first part of the presentation, the architectural plan. So we'll talk through the renderings. We'll talk through the actual like architectural design. Um, and then really like our, your, your business is two parts, your real estate part and your operations part. So you can literally come at it from the perspective of, Hey, you know, I haven't built this before, but our partners have, right? Like Brett and Laura have built this. We are building the exact same mansion that they are. We're going to be using the same thing. So you can go, you can look at their photos. You can look at their virtual tour. I mean, you could send it right now. There's just Mesa on the virtual tour. But, you know, once we're complete with the with the building, we'll do the virtual tool. You'll have all of that um, resources as well. And then the operation system, right? Like Laura is teaching you 10 different frameworks going through. Here's how to build this thing out. Here's how to operate it. And so there is um, safety there. There's experience there, even though you may not have all of this type of experience. You have somebody behind you. So I would use that and, and you can kind of use... Um, this to get them excited, but also to come from the perspective that, hey, you know what, you're, we haven't done this before, but that's okay because someone on our team has done this before. So that's where we're going to start. Then we're going to transition into the business plan. And so you can see here are the structure, right? Well, I'm not going to list this all out now, but as I am talking and giving my presentation today, you will see me go through these key talking points, right? These things right here on the list. And the intention that I'm going through, I'm not saying it, but really I'm framing everything I'm saying in the perspective of your money is safe, right? This is a safe investment. The first part was let's get them excited. Let's get them interested. The second part is your money is safe. Whatever you invest with us, your money is going to be safe. Then we'll talk through the financials. And really the underlying theme is this is a home run deal. It is a no brainer. I, you should want to be a part of this deal because it's a home run. It's a life-changing deal. And so you can see here on the side, here are the different structures that I will use as talking points as we're talking through the performa. Then last, we'll transition into the offer, 
Okay, you now know what the deal is. You've seen the renderings and the blueprints. We've talked about our, our market opportunity, where we're gonna do this, how much capital we need, what the ROI is, what the appraisal, all that kind of stuff is gonna be like. Now, here's your role. Here are these specific things. I wanna make an offer, right? We've talked about bracketing. We've talked about this idea of here's my best case scenario and here's my worst case scenario as far as raising money, as far as um, equity percentages or however you're gonna structure this. And we have these two brackets, right? Like kind of guardrails on the freeway. I need to be somewhere in between these things. So you can start with an offer, right? Start with your best case. And we'll, we'll, we'll use an example today, to show what that looks like on the Performa. And then you know, you, you know, hey, I can negotiate up to this point, but that's where I hit my guardrail. And I, anything beyond that is not safe for me. I'm, I'm not gonna go that place.